In this video, we'll be learning about angles and how to measure them. An angle measures how much something turns. They're made when two lines meet, and we measure how much one line turns away from the other. We measure angles in degrees. Angles are measured around a circle. So a quarter turn is 90 degrees. A half turn is 180 degrees. And a full turn is 360 degrees. Angles can have special names depending on their size. There are four main types of angles. Acute angles, right angles, obtuse angles, and reflex angles. First, let's take a look at the smallest type of angle, an acute angle. Acute angles will always measure less than 90 degrees. Here's an example of an acute angle. A good way to remember acute angles is that they are cute and small. Now let's have a look at right angles. A right angle is exactly 90 degrees. Instead of using a curved arc like other angles, we often show them with a small square in the corner. This makes it clear that the angle is exactly 90 degrees. Now let's have a look at obtuse angles. These angles are wide. They open out more than a right angle, but less than a straight line. Here's an example of an obtuse angle. Finally, we have reflex angles. Reflex angles are so big, they bend right around. It could be anywhere between 180 degrees and 360 degrees. Here's an example of a reflex angle. To measure angles, we use a tool called a protractor. Let's start by measuring an acute angle. We know it's acute because we can see it's less than 90 degrees. But what is the exact angle? Place the centre point of the protractor exactly where the two lines meet. Make sure the zero line on the protractor sits along one of the lines. And then finally, you read the number on the protractor where the second line crosses the scale. So this angle is 60 degrees. Now let's measure an obtuse angle. We know it's an obtuse angle because it's a wide angle that's more than 90 degrees. But what is the exact angle? Place the centre point of the protractor exactly where the two lines meet. Make sure the zero line on the protractor sits along one of the lines. Now we can read the number where the second line crosses the scale. So this angle is 130 degrees. Now let's measure a reflex angle. As you can see, this protractor only measures up to 180. So for angles that are larger than 180, we need to use a full circular protractor. So we place the centre point of the protractor exactly where the two lines meet. Line up the zero degrees mark with one of the lines. Follow the second line outwards to see where it crosses the protractor's scale. So this angle is 230 degrees. Now it's your turn. Which angle is the odd one out, and why? Pause the video and let me know your answers in the comments section.